everyone, today's video is going to be on how you plaster a big ceiling on your own. We're just going to be giving you some tips on how I do it and how I set it all up. First things first, what I'm going to be doing is setting up my scaffolding. You want to make sure that it's going to be comfortable for you. So I've got some benches and I've got some Youngman boards. So the key to plastering a big ceiling on your own is preparation. So what I've done is I've scrimmed all the ceiling, I've checked all the screws to make sure everything is nice and tight, I've checked the boards are all solid. So, so that's the first part of getting everything prepared. The second part will be getting all your mixing stuff ready. Basically you want to get all your water in one place, you want to get your bags in the same place so that you're not doing any rushing round once you've started. So on one side of my ceiling I've actually got some sand cement so this is actually going to cause me a little bit of an issue when I'm putting the skim on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the wall before I actually start just to control the suction from when you're actually putting the skim onto the wall. I'm going to be using the extra time just to make my life a little bit easier on this ceiling. This ceiling's about 33 square meters so it's fairly big but I just want that little bit extra controls. So I'm gonna be using the extra time just to give me that little bit longer and just to make my life that little bit easier. Right, so now that I'm all prepared, it's time to do the mixing. Also another good tip, is always clean while you're doing it because that could be a big issue if later on if you're cleaning everything afterwards once it's set. So I always try and clean everything as I'm going along. Right, so I've just put the first part of the ceiling on, giving it a speed skim and a quick flatten. This is just to keep control of everything. So it's not the second coat, that's just a trowel basically, just to keep it all looking a bit flatter and making sure that you haven't got any dips or anything. Right, so I put my first bag on, now I'm just going to mix another one now. I'm going to do the same again with the extra time, so I'll put my water in and then I'll chuck my extra time in. The key to mixing is consistency. If you're struggling with different consistencies, then you're going to struggle with putting the plaster on.
so I've given it its first coat and its second coat, and now I've just given it its first trial. It's not looking too bad now. Um, I'm just gonna do some washing out now, and then um, I'll get over it straight away and put another trowel on top of it. The key with big ceilings is to make sure that you're always looking for any imperfections. Looking down the light is a good one as well. So if you can just see here now. So that's the first trial done. Right, so now I'm just gonna wash out and then I'll give it another trial. ready for a hard trial now um, so this will be this will be the fourth trial So that's the ceiling done then. So this was 33 square meters, the ceiling. It was quite a big one to do, but with the extra time, it definitely saved a lot of hard work. So it definitely made it a lot easier. Right, so those were my tips on how to plaster a big ceiling. So if you like these videos, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Um, I drop these videos every Tuesday. Right, cheers for watching.